In this video, I want to show you guys a little program called Tacky Borders. With this program, you can add borders around opened applications in Windows. And it's actually pretty cool. By default, this is how it looks. And you can also customize it and all that. So this is a free and open source application actually called, again, Tacky Borders. The people who use tiling window managers they actually prefer having borders around their open application. So this is aimed for those people, but even if you don't use Tiling Window Manager, it still looks cool, okay? <laughs> so to download this program, go to releases, and then just download the latest one. It's a zip file, so download it. Just click on it to download it. And after that, go to your downloads folder, unzip it. Once you unzip it, run this little program. You don't have to install it. It's a portable program, okay? And it's gonna sit in your, uh, let me show you guys here. So as soon as you run this program, you open any application, you'll have borders. And these are the default colors. That's blue, purple, and pinkish i guess maybe blue and purple okay to the left side we have blue color and to the right side we have the purple color and you can change it to whatever you want okay now you can also animate this actually right now it's static okay already looks cool and you can also change the color to do that you actually have to edit the config file of it. So find the icon of tacky borders, right click and click on show config. Okay. Once you click on that, it will open a folder with config file for the program. You can just edit this con config file. It's a .yaml file. So right click, edit with whatever you want. I'm just going to use the notepad. Why not? You can change the colors using hex code. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna so these are the colors that are being used currently so here to animate this you can actually scroll down until you see the FPS it's disabled by default so you can remove the false and put it here true and just save it and now watch this can you see it it's animated now okay the colors are running around and you can change the fps to make it slower or faster okay so i'm gonna go 15 for example now it's gonna go slower or maybe let's go like five maybe now it's jittery actually it doesn't go slower yeah it's slower plus it's not smooth to make it smooth yeah i mean you have to go like 60 FPS or something. Now, if you animate this, it will use more CPU, obviously. It's not using that much actually, but it's constantly going to use some amount of CPU, like uh, almost one to 2% CPU if you animate this with 60 FPS. Okay, depending on the FPS, it will increase. So let's disable this, type in here false, and I'm gonna save it. Now you'll see it will use less CPU, almost like 0% CPU because it's not animating or anything like that. Inactive color, active color. Okay, we're gonna change these. It's a, yeah, it's a bluish color. Okay, active color. And this is the color that is being used right now. So I can go and change it to, let's say green. I can copy the code and we're gonna go with the green and red, why not? What is this one? This should be purple, yeah, it's purplish. Okay, so let's go with the red. We can go deep red too, okay? Let's just say for this example, I'm gonna go and select that and paste this code in here, okay? And I'm gonna go save it. Now look at that, now we have the red and green <laughs> like RGB color. I think we can add more. Can we? Can we go with the blue one too? I don't know how many we can add, but let's say I'm gonna go with that and let's add there. We have to separate them with comma. Hope it works. I added the blue color too. I can oh, I can see the blue color. Yeah, <laughs> we can add more colors as many as we want. Let's let's go crazy. Uh, let's add the yellow bright yellow why not okay now let's save it we should get the yellow too here it's going fast now <laughs> okay so you can see now it's animated look at that i mean you can add as many colors as you want 
let's check on the uh, uh, CPU. Yeah, it's still the same. Okay, let's try to change the FPS. Uh, I don't know how fast it goes when we have lower FPS. Let's go with this 10. Oh, it's jittery. It's not going to be smooth. Okay, so let's go 120 or 120. Yeah, 120 FPS. Let's go with that. Double it. Save. Now it's going to look smooth. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> And it's gonna use double amount of CPU, obviously. Okay, so maybe you should go with like 60 or 30. 30, does that look good? Let's see. Yeah, that's that's good. And it's gonna lower the CPU usage. It's almost same as the 60 FPS actually. <laughs> okay, so you can fine tune the thing by yourself. So actually I prefer the default, but if you wanna go crazy like this, you want to add seven colors and make them dance yeah go ahead you can do it okay it's actually pretty simple now can i do undo because again i like the default colors so i'm gonna do the undo <laughs> how many times i don't know i made many changes actually okay okay yeah it's undo is working okay i think we are done yeah okay now let's save it <laughs> I actually prefer this is my favorite color okay I think most people prefer this uh, the color <laughs> purple and blue I mean depending on what I'm trying to do yeah for this this is a kind of perfect color for me uh, I mean I also don't want to animate this but I mean for a show off I guess I can go and animate if you run the program normally some applications won't get the borders like for example taskbar didn't get the border even though it's running and rest of the other things or applications have the border here so in that case you have to run this as administrator okay and it will just work with all the applications and it's a portable program uh, you'll have to start it every time you restart your computer but you can actually uh make this program run at startup automatically whenever you turn on your computer it's simple just add this to the startup folder that's it or again just google it <laughs> and that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye